six pack abs, right? Of course, we see it in magazines, TV shows. We see it all over the place. Shows, movies, our favorite shows. But unfortunately, rarely do six pack abs have correlation to strong core strength and strong relation to decreased injury rate. So here we are, Todd's tip of the day. The top six reasons why having a strong core is better than having six pack abs. In this episode, we're gonna see if you work all abs and no core, it's a recipe for disaster. I can tell you it's gonna cause so many different issues. So how do we build a great core? Not just doing abs or ab crunches, we do it by doing by engaging the core in the fuse box with every movement we do. So here we go, my favorite part. The top six reasons why having a strong core is better than having six pack abs. Number one, an amazing fuse box. This is your whole power system with a backup generator that never quits. So again, remember what the fuse box is, the muscles that are attached to the front of your spine or behind your spine. So the neck, the abs, your adductors, and the back, it's the postural muscles, the scapular depressors, the low back, in the glutes and number two if you work this all the time the generator never goes off and you never lose power which will significantly decrease the rate of your injuries if you move all the time with this activation the core you will always be on your body's always on ready to go with the drops notice number two you can move fluidly through any movement with weight without hurting your back awesome right wouldn't we'd all love to do that Again, I don't want to get hurt. I throw my back out plenty of times. I threw it out doing deadlifts because I didn't really have good form and I wasn't bracing properly. I was down for a couple of weeks. Not a good time. Number three, it protects your upper body, your upper and lower body, uh, parts of your body. A strong core and fuse box makes the plug. So the plugs are going to be your shoulders, your elbows, your wrist and your fingers, and same thing, hips, knees, and ankles. That's what I considered fuse box and plugs. Number four, really big one super big dramatically decreases the um decreases the typical overuse injuries i can say with 100 percent certainty 100 percent no questions that all lower body injuries hamstring pulls tight hamstrings calf pulls plantar fasciitis achilles tendonitis are all related to weak core stabilizing muscles causing other muscles like the glute medius muscle to overwork which can give you referred pain to all those um, uh, injuries that I just talked about in a dormant glute which is the most important muscle of your body it's a terrible it's a recipe it's a disaster recipe right there it also protects your inner organs and your central nervous system your spinal cord is everything we got to protect that we have to protect the spinal cord because that's where everything starts right along your fuse box everything goes from there when we have a normal pressure on it because of a normal um, movement patterns or no movement patterns and abnormal core strength will affect all of our movement patterns. Poor movement patterns over time equal what? We don't want this. Pain, poor function, no good. Number five, it protects your upper body as well. Believe it or not, it's been shown when you, when you work your core the correct way, it limits the amount of overhead injuries with sports like tennis, swimming and volleyball. Studies have actually shown that athletes with a better core have a 53% better balance than athletes without a strong core. Huge difference. Number six, improve performance for all athletic activities. So if anyone was an athlete, triathlete, um, that likes to run, soccer, whatever your sport is, hiking, what does it translate into? Faster running. Better shock absorbers with the adductor muscles part of the fuse box Better shock absorbers translates into less wear and tear, translates into faster times. Simple, it's simple math. Faster and smoother cycling. When your core is engaged all the time and when it's turned on, not only do we have enough juice to the plugs to work, but the job is done with a lot less effort. And you're not feeling your legs fatigue so much because your core is always turned on. Something simple like easier walking, easier hiking, any, especially with hiking with elevation, engage that core, hold your belly, draw your belly button to your spine. When you're walking up a hill, you're going to make it up easier, guaranteed, every single time. So I hope this was helpful. Top six reasons why having a strong core is better than having six back abs. Although that would be a bonus as well. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you. Todd Houghton here from Houghton Physical Therapy in Attleboro, Massachusetts. I'm a physical therapist, been one for 25 years, and I'm passionate about helping people with their physical body and their emotional body. Please feel free to reach out to me at toddy.houghtonphysicaltherapy.com. You can find me on social media.